Hey, Kevin, what do you have there? Steve contacted me the other day, and he said, why would you use a lap joint as opposed to a butt joint? So what is a lap joint? What is a butt joint? How are the two of them different? And a butt joint is nothing more than two pieces of steel or wood or whatever you're working with put together end to end or edge to edge like this. So when you put the two of them together, everything comes out flat. Now for metal this thick, I would probably want to chamfer the edges just a little bit so I can get a real nice healthy joint down in there, get a good weld in there. I'm going to grind it smooth on both sides when I'm done. Just basically I'm going to make those two pieces of metal become one. You can't even tell where the joint is when I get done with it. A lap joint, or it should probably be called an overlap joint, because that's when you have one piece of material laying over the top of the other, and you're going to weld it along this side, then you're going to flip it around and you're going to weld along the other side. So instead of just having two pieces joined and you're relying on your weld to hold everything together through whatever stress you might put it through, now you've got them overlaid this way where you've got a good weld on both sides and it's into thicker metal, if you will. There's more meat there rather than just edge on. So what would you use a lap joint for? Well, I see them like when they're building these big steel storage tanks, like at tank farms. You know, it's any place where you need that extra little bit of strength when you're holding something together and you're really not concerned about what it looks like. And just to put all the talk into action, I'm going to go ahead and grind these, chamfer these edges a little bit, and then we'll go ahead and weld up a butt joint and a lap joint so you can see what I'm talking about. You can see I just chamfered these edges just a little bit. Quarter inch plate came back about an eighth of an inch, went down about a sixteenth of an inch. Try to do that on both sides so you've still got a sixteenth of an inch worth of vertical space in there, vertical metal in there to butt up against one another, but you got this nice groove in there that you can lay a bead down inside. Now let's get a little tacky up there and a little tacky over there. Now let's run a bead. I'm using the Everlast 253 DTI. Which is their dual pulse machine. But this is just straight MIG. So that was the butt joint. Now let's see you get the lap joint done. Tack them in there. Tack them in there. The lap joint is obviously going to take more metal. You're going to need more wire feed, really. A little bit of a weave back and forth, just to make sure I'm getting both edges nice. You, know, you got your basic butt joint here, and you've got a lap joint over here. So I hope that answers your question, Steve. And you get the chance, why don't you pop out to my website and see what's going on over there. I'll see you all next time. I'm going to need a new knee joint after this.